videos. Like all other Nysora simulators, the Epidural Analgesia Simulator comes in a custom design box which is convenient for carrying and storage. To begin practicing, the simulator and all peripherals are taken outside of the box. An optional camera is fixed to the tray which allows the operator to visually confirm needle and catheter placement in the proper space. The ultrasound tray contains clear instructions on the part of the body that the simulator belongs to. Instructions for use and care are also provided, as well as abbreviations that are used in the ultrasound image. To use the optional camera, insert it into the port on the top of the simulator. The epidural simulator features realistic surface anatomical landmarks. The fixed arrow on the left flank indicates approximate location of the L4 and L5 interspace. The instructions on the tray illustrate the suggested needle placement and needle manipulation using lots of resistance during epidural anesthesia. Let's see how we can use the Nysora simulator to perform a landmark-based technique. Here we can see an L3 and L4 interspace. Note that although the Nysora simulator physically appears smaller than the human body, the actual anatomical landmarks of importance are exactly the same as in an average-sized adult of 75 kilograms. The smaller flanks are specifically engineered to allow for ease of storage and transportation. To practice epidural analgesia, the needle is inserted in the interspace between L3 and L4 and advanced to enter the interspinous ligament. A syringe provided is attached to the needle and a loss of resistance to air is practiced in order to access the epidural space. As the needle is advanced, it encounters the resistance because it is located in the ligament. As the needle exits the interspinous ligament and enters the epidural space, a sudden loss of resistance to air is perceived, which signifies proper placement in the epidural space. A catheter is then inserted through the needle and passed into the epidural space. This can also be confirmed using the camera and the optional screen, where the catheter is seen entering the epidural space. The needle is then removed and the catheter is secured. This allows the practice of epidural analgesia on a simulator before approaching the procedure in patients, which could result in complications such as postural puncture headaches.